Okay, reflections. Those, these are not sliding. These are reflecting. We always pretend something is a mirror. What if the y-axis was the mirror? The y-axis we'll put in blue. The y-axis is right here. If that's the mirror, then if your reflection is this far away from the mirror, if you're that far away from the mirror, then your reflection is going to be that far away from the mirror. And if you're, if you're down here and your reflection is only a little bit from the mirror, then your reflection is only going to be a little bit from the mirror. And if this guy is kind of a long ways away from the mirror, then he's going to be a long ways away from the mirror over there. Here's where the new triangle would be. So if I erased all those helping lines, right, it gets moved over here that your reflection, your reflection is the same distance away from the mirror that you are. Okay, what if the x-axis is the mirror? What if this guy's the mirror? Then your reflection is the same, this guy's a little bit from the mirror, boom, right there. This guy's a lot of bit from the mirror, right there. This guy's about that far from the mirror. This is where your reflection would be. Over here, what if the y-axis was the mirror? Okay. He's this far from the mirror, this far from the mirror, and probably about that far from the mirror. For x-axis is this guy. So this guy would be about there. This guy's far from the mirror. This guy's a, kind of in the middle, maybe closer to the far away guy. Maybe like that. This guy, the y-axis, this one is the mirror, so over here, it's pretty close, it's very far, boom. All right, so you can figure out those. Okay, here's the trick. Uh, we said whatever, whenever you flip something over a mirror, check this out, A is... Let's see where A is at. A is at negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. A is at negative 5, positive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Negative 5, positive 5. Okay. Uh, reflect it over the x-axis. So we want to make this take this whole shape and put it on the other side of this mirror. The x is the mirror. Okay, if you want, I can I can draw the whole thing down here. It'll be like... It'll be like down here like this somewhere, uh, like this, right? And I can draw it and put all the corners. This is, this is going to be A, this is going to be D, this is going to be C, this is going to be B. Okay. But I don't need to. I can actually do this mathematically. All right, as long as I know where we started. If we start at negative 5, negative 5, or negative 5, positive 5, I just have to know which one I'm using as the mirror. I'm using the x-axis as the mirror. So the x is going to stay the same, negative 5. But when I reflect, the other one gets flipped. We st we, we're way up here at 5. We're going to go way down here to negative 5. So whichever one is the mirror, the other one ends up getting flipped. So the other one ends up getting flipped from positive 5 to negative 5. And that's your answer, negative 5, negative 5. Uh, let's see. So reflect for B. Where is B? B is at negative 2. It starts at negative 2, negative 1, negative 2, posi positive 5. That's where B starts off, negative 2, positive 5. So B is at negative 2, positive 5. All right, we want to reflect it, okay? What are we going to use as the mirror? We're going to use the y-axis as the mirror. That's this guy. That's this. We're using the y as the mirror. So we're going to keep the y the same, right? We're going to use the y axis as a mirror. So he goes from negative 2 over here to positive 2. He's going to come over here. So it's the x that gets flipped from negative 2 to positive 2. So whatever your mirror is, your mirror gets to chill. If you're using them as the mirror, that number stays the same. The other guy gets the reflection. All right, so let's see. C, uh, where is C? C is right here at negative 2, positive 2. Okay, so let's see. Reflect over the x-axis. So we're going to use the x as the mirror. 
negative two, positive two. So if I'm using the X as the mirror, the X stays the same and I'm flipping and the other one gets the, gets the reflection. So if it was the X axis, it'd be moving down to there, negative two, negative two. Now, if I flip over both, that doesn't mean, um, it means, it means you're going to flip over one, like you flip over the x-axis and then you would flip over the y-axis. So basically switch both of the variables. So let's see. Reflect over both axes. What are the new coordinates for d? Well, d is at negative 5, positive 2. If I flip over the x-axis, that would switch this one. And then if I flipped over the y-axis, that would switch this one. So basically you're just flipping them both. So if you're going to go over, if you're going to use both of them as a mirror, you're going to do them one at a time. That's going to flip the negative 5 to positive 5 and the positive 2 to negative 2. You just flip them both. So the trick with the mirror is whichever one you're using as the, as the mirror for your reflection, either the x-axis or the y-axis, if you want to know where it goes, just flip the other number. Do the reflection of the other number. Not If, if the x is the mirror, flip the y. If the y is the mirror, flip the x. All right, so you should be able to do these over there, and good luck.